about this as we go through. Two major healthcare companies are breaking off their engagements. And I'm going to do it for you in suitable rhyme. Here we go, let's give it up. Roses are red, violets are blue. A merger is dead, and now a billion is due. This was the case of Aetna and uh, the other one. Paul, what's gone wrong with these, with this particular merger and the one between Cigna and, uh, um, and Anthem, uh, which has also fallen apart? Yes, Aetna and Humana and Cigna and Anthem, basically they just could not convince uh, judges that these deals would, uh, wouldn't violate antitrust concerns. So we had five big U.S. health insurers, and we still have five. United Health was the only one not involved in a deal, and its four competitors are going to have to stay separate. And we will watch this one. And so we move on to another billet d'eux. Toshiba is parting ways with its chairman. So Toshiba's in the red. Investors are in the blue. The company's boardroom is starting anew. Paula Monica. Yes, there is nothing that says romance like problems at nuclear power plants, is there, Richard? So <laughs> clearly we've got Toshiba with its Westinghouse electric deal. That is a big headache for the company, leading the chairman to, to resign. And, uh, you know, the, the biggest problem that uh, the company said in their earnings, really, or not their earnings, they were delaying their earnings, so love... Right. Uh, being, uh, you know, uh, forestalled, if you will, for any loyal investors still left. They raised the going concern issue, whether or not uh, things right. are going to get worse. It's, uh, it's heartbreak city for Toshiba right now. Love is a many splendid thing, Mr. LaMonica. From Toshiba to General Motors. Peugeot's owner is in talks to hook up with General Motors in Europe. We'll have lilies, I think, this time. Roses are red, violets are blue. GM might be heading out of the EU. <laughs> is it really likely that, oh, that GM would sell Opel and Renault, or, Pe or Peugeot in this case, Peugeot would be interested? It sounds like that is the case. Peugeot has confirmed that there are talks and that a deal could in fact happen. We know that GM is doing extremely well in North America and China, so divorcing itself, if you were, from the EU might be something that they would consider on this most romantic of days. Sadly, divorce is also something that uh, people talk about. I, I want this in iambic pentameter next year, by the way. <laughs> You'll be lucky to get it at all. <laughs> <laughs> this time next year. If I don't see some chocolates when I get back to New York tomorrow, uh, LaMonica, there'll be some serious questions. Paul LaMonica, who is in New York.